Nice to meet you. You too. Is it Adam Mahmood? Yes, it is. Yeah. How can I help you, Adam? Um, well, basically, my family found out that my older half brother has got muscular dystrophy. Right. Okay. And um, we're just a little bit concerned about whether or not the rest of us might have it as well. Sure. Okay. So you said he's your older half brother. Yeah. So uh, we've got the same mom. We've got different dads. Okay. Okay. And how did that diagnosis come about with your elder brother? He's just, he's been feeling like sort of weak recently, especially his upper half. He gets tired really quickly. Okay. Um, and he went to see a neurologist who told him that he's got muscular dystrophy. And then right. apparently that person suggested that the rest of us see a GP as well, just to see if we might have an issue. Sure. Has that been worrying you? The patient freely discusses his concerns of muscular dystrophy here, and the doctor picks up on this. She demonstrates this by simply asking, has that been worrying you in a sensitive manner? Yeah, I mean, like I said, he's been feeling quite weak and I don't, I don't know much about it. Yeah. All I know is that it gets worse all the time. Okay. And so I want to know if, you know, if me or my little siblings might have a problem. Okay, and, and how many siblings do you have? I've got three, all younger than me. Younger than you. And they've all got, so you, you and your younger siblings have got the same mum. And, and sorry, that you've got, got the same, same dad and, yeah, and, right, yeah. and then it's your elder brother that's got a different dad. Yeah. Okay, fantastic, okay. To clarify a fairly complex patient's family history, Dr. Anu summarises and repeats it back to the patient. This is a good demonstration of active listening and this can also be a useful tool in a pressured exam situation to help you gather your thoughts when you get stuck. Now you mentioned about your brother having weakness. Mm -hmm. Have you experienced any problems with your muscles? No, not really, to be honest. I mean, I go to the gym as normal. I play a bit of rugby. I've never had any problems like that. Okay. Any problems talking or swallowing? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. The doctor uses brief questions to ascertain if the patient has been experiencing any of the common symptoms of muscular dystrophy. Here would be a good opportunity to ask the patient if any of the family members have been symptomatic. Further information on the common symptoms of the various types of muscular dystrophy can be found in the links in the description. And we've got here that you're generally fit and well. Yeah. Um, you were diagnosed with asthma as a child. Mm -hmm. Does that affect you now? No, no. No, okay. Um, and you're not on any medication? No. No? Any um, herbal tablets, anything over the counter? No, nothing. Nothing like that. Are you allergic to anything? No. No. I'm just going to ask just a few general questions um, just about you, your day-to-day -day life before okay. we, we start talking about this. Um, do you smoke at all? I don't. No? And any alcohol? Not much. I mean, I'll have two or three pints when I go out, and that's only a couple of times a month. Okay, okay. And are you working? Yes, I work in IT. Okay, and, and you're happy in your job? Yeah, Everything's that's absolutely okay? fine. I have no issues with that. Okay. And who lives at home with you? I rent my own place, but um, I live with my younger siblings. Okay, okay, great. Okay. So you've mentioned about muscular dystrophy, mm -hmm. and, and you want to know more information about it. So. Um, uh, there's, there's lots of actually information about problems like this. So um, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about how, what happens when you, when you do get muscular dystrophy and then we can have a look and, and just see about what your risks are and, and take it from there, okay. if that's okay. Yep. Now, um, with um, all the cells in your body, um, there are genes in your body which code how all those cells are made. And with muscular dystrophy, there, is, um, there are some proteins which um, are to do with the muscle growth and development and, and how stable they are. And there's a variation in one of those, um, so the things that code that protein, which is why you get muscular dystrophy. Right. Dr. Anu explains the fundamentals of genetic mutation without using the word mutation and substituting this for the word variation. The word mutation can sometimes be perceived by some patients as a negative. Now, um, what carries the genetic material is something called chromosomes. Okay, so I'm going to draw a quick diagram just to explain it a bit better because it can get quite complicated. Okay. In the exam, you will have a dry wipe A4 sized whiteboard which you can use to draw your diagram which the doctor takes advantage of here. Right, so... 
women have two chromosomes which are called X and X, and men have one X and one Y. And muscular dystrophy is attached to one of these X chromosomes. Now, if your dad um, had one affected X chromosome, he would also have muscular dystrophy, but you've mentioned that you've got different, um, you've got different dads. So we'd have to assume that your mum may carry this and that's some, one of the things we'll need to look for. So if your mum did carry it, I'm going to pop there just to represent that your mum has an affected chromosome. Are you with me so far? Yeah. Yeah, okay. The doctor checks patient understanding before progressing, which is done throughout the consultation. This demonstrates that Dr. Anu is carrying out her consultation in a patient-centred manner. So the way that this can be inherited is you get one of your mum's and one of your dad's genes, okay? So I'm just going to draw a quick diagram here. Okay, so what this shows is that you are, um, X and Y means a man, so there is a 50% chance that you may pick up, pick up this gene, okay? Inheritance risks are demonstrated to the patient here by using percentages. Other ways of explaining the risk would be to say something along the lines of, you have a 1 in 2 chance of being affected. However, the doctor didn't explain the role of carriers, i.e. asymptomatic female carriers. This is important as the patient was concerned about his whole family and not just himself. Now, um, muscular dystrophy, um, the way that we can have a look at it is, is referring you for some genetic tests. So they go into this a little bit more detail and they're able to do either blood tests or take some tissue samples and have a look and see if you're carrying one of these genes, which would mean that you are affected. The word tissue can be perceived as jargon to some patients and the doctor unfortunately didn't explain fully where the tissue would be obtained from. Tissue samples can be obtained from saliva through a swab, for example. Explaining this to a patient can help make genetic testing feel less threatening to them. Do you have any questions about this so far? No. 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 Okay. So it may be worth it, the next step, that I can give you some information about muscular dystrophy because you, you obviously came in and you said you wanted to know yeah. a little bit more about how it's inherited. But I do think that it would be worth as well sending you to one of the genetics teams so they can have a look with you and your family okay. into more details and get, get you checked. Yeah, that'd be great. Does yeah. that sound yeah. okay? The doctor correctly refers this patient to the genetics team and additionally provides the patient with some reading information as there is a lot of information for them to take in, which they may forget after leaving the room. Are your, um, did you mention that your other siblings, your younger siblings, are registered here or are they at a different no, surgery? No, uh, they're all registered at different GP surgeries. Different GP surgeries, okay. And how about your mum, is she at a different surgery as yes. well? Yes. Okay. So if I give you the information, we'll get you referred to the genetic team. Yep. But they um, usually have a look at the other members of your family anyway to get everybody tested. Okay. Okay. Yep. Um, are you happy with, with what we've discussed today? Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, not really. That's fine. Okay. I mean, the other option is if you want to take away the information I'm going to give you today, we can maybe rebook in a week um, and you could maybe come in with your siblings and even okay. your older brother if you wanted. Yeah. So we could discuss this in a bit more detail. Yeah. Finally, the doctor gives the patient the opportunity to ask questions. Follow-up is arranged with the patient and other members of the family are suggested to attend. That'd be fine with me. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I, I will make that referral, I'll give you some information today and I'll give you a slip to take to the lady at reception so that she can book you in for your appointment next week with me. So just have a read over the information and then okay, we can take cool. it from there. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, thank cheers. You. So how did this doctor do? A lot of candidates find genetics cases hard to complete. There are a few things that Dr Anu could have done here to improve upon, in particular in the data gathering section. Number one drawing a family tree and clarifying if any other family members have a diagnosis. Number two, probing further in the family history to see if any other relatives are symptomatic. Number three, exploring if the patient had thought about the effects on his potential offspring. 
In the patient's management, the diagram explaining the mode of inheritance was carried out well. However, there was sufficient time to explain the carrier status which would be relevant to other family members. Overall, the doctor correctly referred this patient for genetic testing and counselling and offered further information and arranged follow-up. And this would be graded as an overall pass. So how did you think the doctor did? Do you agree with my comments? Comment below if you have any thoughts and feedback. And don't forget to share this video with your colleagues and friends and subscribe to our channel for plenty more content to come. Thank you.